Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'll show you how you can create a blog stories in Azure and connect it with your Node.js application so that you can upload images and videos file from your Node.js application to the Azure blog stories to show how you can connect our Azure blog stories to uh, Node.js application. I already created an application. So this is the application and there are basically two pages. One is upload images and another is view images. Let me show you how the code work and if you want to use this code then I'll provide the code through my github so you can go and clone the repository and use the same code that I am currently using so this is our code basically what we are doing currently when the user will upload the image we store that in our public images folder and we'll render all that images to a single page slash view so that's how currently our application is working but we will add Azure Blob Stories in it so that we can upload our image to Azure Blob Stories and, and from there we can access our images first of all we will go to our Azure homepage portal.azure.com from here in the search bar search for storage account click on storage account and from here we need to create a new storage account choose your subscription then the resource group you can go with the pre-existing resource group or create a new one for you. Now give a name to your storage account. Make sure that the name is unique. Then choose your reason from here. No need to change the default one. You can continue with the default one. Then click on next. Uh, you can left all the settings as they are. Then click on next. In the networking section, make sure that network access is selected as enable public access from all networks. Otherwise, we can't access. Now click on review and create. Now our storage account is created successfully. Now click on go to resource. Now we need to create a new container in which we will store all the images that the user will upload in our application. So containers are just like directories. Inside that you can store all your images. Click on add a container. And give it a name. Click on create. Our container is successfully created inside that we will store all the images that the user will upload now go to security and networking section inside that click on shared access signature from here from in allowed resources choose containers and objects then click on generate SAS and connecting string we are going to use shared access signature to upload image and access the image from our container so for that we will need the SS token. Now from here copy the SSS token. Now go back to our application and in the root folder create a new file named as .env which will contain all our environment variable. Now we need to create three environment variable. The first one is the SAS token that we just copied. The second one will be storage account name the third one will be container name so this is our storage account name so copy it from here and paste it then the container name that you just created uh, which is demo123 Now we need to install some new packages in our project. For that run command npm i address azure slash storage blob then another package dot env. So our package is successfully installed. Let's go to our main file index.js and no more we need this fs package and from here comment out these two lines. So now let's import our environment variables. Post the SAS token. And then our account name. then the container name
Now let's import our modules. That will be blob service client. For we are also going to use Malter to upload our image uh, from Node.js application to Azure. We are uploading all our file to the storage using Malter. But now we will upload them to our Azure blob storage. So no more we will use our disk storage. Instead we will use the memory storage. Now let's create a blob service client for that. Write code blob. And here you have to provide the connection string or URL. So let's construct the connection string. HTTPS colon double slash. Then our storage account name. Dot blob dot core dot windows dot net question mark. Then our SAS token. So this will create a blob service client. Now let's create a container service client. container client then our container name okay we successfully created our container service client now using this container service client to upload images to this particular container and access images from this particular container then let's go to our upload section so this is our upload endpoint and here we will add our code i will add it in a try case block Now we can access all the properties of the file that the user upload using the parameter request.file. So first of all we will create a new variable where we will store the new image file name. That will be request.file.original name. And we will add date.now argument with it. So that our file name will be always unique block block client container service client dot we are creating a new blob with this name now let's upload that blob or image While uploading the blob, we need to provide these two arguments and we need to make the function asynchronous. So here I make a mistake. We don't need to use the blob service client here. We need to use the block blob client here. Uh, here the code will be get block block line. And another mistake is we forgot to give the dot upload statement here. And this is not a function. Dot upload is a function. So here we have to give dot upload statement. Okay. And in the end of this try block, add a success response. Otherwise, the code will don't properly work. So basically, I coded the JavaScript in such a way. If you don't send the 200 code status after the image is successfully uploaded, page will not work properly. So make sure that you add the response status 200. Now let's go back to our page. Choose a file again. Click on upload. Now let's go to our uh, container page. And here as you can see, our image is successfully uploaded. So this is the view page where we are accessing images. Now we are not showing the images from our local machine. So remove these lines. So here we will use the container service. List all our images. Now this will list all our images. Now we'll use a for loop for 
and this is this will be an asynchronous function const blob in blob list paste here and here we will provide the url to access the we'll use off here and this is the url to access our blob using our shared access token so now let's see in our view page whether we are able to access it or not and in the view image section and as you can see this is the image that we upload so that's it for this video i hope you like this video and if you learn something new throughout this video then make sure you like this video and subscribe the channel to see more videos like this.